This video, I'm going to show you how you can create sales funnels and campaigns using Kartra's built-in one-click templates. Hi everyone, it's Kevin from Solopreneur and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can leverage Kartra's templates to create various campaigns and even sales funnels. Now, one of the greatest benefits of Kartra is that beyond just providing you with the tools on how to do things, it also puts it all together for you in these beautifully designed high converting templates. So it's not enough that you have landing pages and email and then you have a CRM and then you have video. You know, it's great to have all of these tools, but how do you actually put it together in a cohesive campaign? And Putting that even aside, how do you even integrate it all together? So Kartra handles both of these problems for you and I'm going to show you how to get started with its one-click campaigns. So we begin as always in the Kartra dashboard and let's head right over to campaigns. Now, once we're in campaigns, what we need to do is click available campaigns and then here we can see a list of all of the campaigns that you can import. And as you can see, there's quite a few. Now, based on your specific use case and what you're looking to do, there's going to be a campaign that's built for you. So what I would advise is that you just go through each of these videos, you can play them, and each of these videos will have a bit of a brief that breaks down who the campaign's for, how it works, what are the elements. Another thing you can do is you can actually click here and go view assets to see what kinds of elements are there. Now, I'm going to start with the simplest campaign for this tutorial because my goal is to show you how the templating system works and how all the tools work together. And by showing you the simplest campaign here, you should be able to use those principles and apply it for even the more complex campaign. So as you can see here, this one only has eight assets. It's a really quick list builder campaign. But as you can imagine here, if you are launching a new product, you'll see one here with 26 assets or even this really involved daily deal campaign, which has 39 assets. So as a new Kartra user, I would advise that you start out with a really simple one like the list builder campaign where you're using this campaign to build your list by giving them a lead magnet or a freemium offer. So as I advised, I would start by watching the video just to familiarize yourself with it. And for the sake of time, we won't watch the video live here, but you know, you're going to see what it's all about. Now to get started, what you're going to do is you're going to go here and you're going to go to deploy. Now, the first thing you have to do is put in a prefix. This is an interesting one because it's just for internal use and the character count is a little limited. So sometimes I find it honestly a little bit annoying, but it's good to use. So, you know, you might want to say list build or something like that. It doesn't honestly matter. It's only eight characters. So for whatever reason, right? Like this is useful if you have like a naming convention, let's say you have a certain campaign naming convention or something you've created and you want to use it for organization. Totally optional, totally up to you how you want to name it, but uh, you can call it whatever you want. Now the campaign name, this is actually where you'll want to actually name it accurately. So here I'm just going to say example list builder tutorial or something. I'm just because I'm teaching you guys how to do this. So and then all you have to do is click import. Now upon importing, it's going to show you a little video here, which is going to give you a little more steps on what you know, what has just been imported and whatnot. And that's one of the great things about Kartra. There's always little tool tips and videos, but I'm going to walk you all through it. So as you can see here, now they've added this little thing here that says 0% done. And this is your wizard or builder that's going to walk you through all of the steps. Now, first thing I'll say is I'm making this tutorial because it can get a little bit overwhelming for new Kartra users until you really understand how all of these things play together. So you've just clicked on this one click campaign. And as you can see, Kartra has actually built one asset here. It's built one asset here. It's built one asset here. It's built the pages. It's built the forms. And at first it can seem a little bit overwhelming, like, whoa, wait, what are all these things? Now Kartra helps you out by having these videos that explain it, but I'm actually going to help you guys here and, and just talk through each of these elements. And these 
tags, lists, sequences, pages, forms. These are some of the more common aspects in a lot of these campaigns. So by me walking you guys through this, you'll be better able to understand how Kartra is structured and how these campaigns are structured. And then this as a foundation will help you build upon your skills in Kartra and learn how to deploy some of the more advanced campaigns. Okay, so let's start with tags and lists. By the way, I do have a whole video on tags and lists explaining what they are, how they're used. I would encourage you guys to check it out, but I'm gonna go over it at a high level here. So once you're ready, click on I'm ready, take me there. So tags are the lifeblood of Kartra. And so what the system has done here is it's built a simple tag that will be triggered when someone fills in our lead capture sequence, which we're going to build and configure in the later steps. But sometimes in Kartra, you have to build the dependencies before you build the assets. So just go with me here. It's all going to make sense. And that's why I wanted to make this video. It can sometimes until you understand the logic, it may seem backwards, but it's not. It's just built this way so that all the dependencies are built. You know, you kind of take care of the plumbing first before you build the pages and stuff. And which, you know, from an engineering standpoint, that makes sense. But it might be counterintuitive to some other tools you've used. So just go with me here. So this is just saying that whenever someone fills in this form, which we will configure and create, add them to this list. And so as you can see here, you can edit it and you can name it something else if you want, but you don't really have to. So then when we're done with that, we just say mark is complete because I'm okay with that one. Now, likewise, we now have a list. So again, full video on the difference between lists and tags, check it out. But for simplicity's sake, lists are needed for people to be able to opt out of your email communication. So it's a compliance tool and tags are built for automations within the platform. I'll leave it at that. So you do need a list and you need tags and you need a list because this is going to be your lead capture nurture uh, list that you're going to use to send your prospects emails. So that's why that's there. Again, you can hit edit and change it if you want, but not necessary if you're good with the naming convention they've assigned. So now mark is complete. So far you can see, right? Like you haven't had to do anything. It's actually pretty easy once you figure it out. Next sequences. I'm ready, take me there again. Watch the video if you like. Feeling a bit under the weather, but I wanted to get this video out for you guys, so apologies if my voice is a little bit raspy. But here we are in the sequence builder, and this is where we're doing our email automation. So you just hit edit and you hit edit again. Then it will load the sequence builder. Okay, so here we are. Now, depending on your preference, you can go arrange horizontally or you can do arrange vertically. I personally like arrange vertically. It's up to you, makes no difference, honestly. So what this is is, if you've used any other email program, it's advanced automation. So you're gonna be sending people these emails in day one, day two. It's a, it's a very simple two day uh, drip sequence, but it's based on a certain trigger. And now here's where that opt-in form and everything's gonna make sense. So as you can see here, the trigger is when someone fills out this opt-in form. Now this opt-in form has already been created for you and we'll be looking at that in the next step in the sequence. But all this means is that simply when someone fills in this form, you could have also done this by just assigning the tag instead of the form if you wanted to. I'm not gonna change it here for you guys because I don't wanna confuse anyone, but I just wanna show you, we could have also set the opt-in to be that tag that was assigned. So I'm gonna hit cancel because I'm not gonna change anything, but I also just wanna show you guys that what the tags are used for. As you can see here, Upon achieving that trigger point, which is filling in the form, then they are immediately sent this email. So it's a two email drip. And you can see here, Kartra's already written this email for you. And it's anyone reaching this step, send them this. And you can just preview it here. What you're gonna wanna do then, of course, is close all of this, go here, go to edit, and actually do split tests here too. A Little bit more advanced, won't cover that in this, but just so you know. Kartra has, you know, all the email features you would have in any other email automation platform like Aweber or ConvertKit or anything. So anyways, point being is you can see there's some dynamic triggers here. So it'll automatically fill in the person's first name with dynamic variables. And then you just use this copy. So the whatever the lead magnet that you're promising is, this is the thing you ask for, benefit, 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 this is it. 
as you can see here, first name, here's your thing, and you can enter a preview text. So there's your subject line and all of that standard with email. Hit edit when you're done. So likewise, you would just edit email too like this as well. And what's different about this one is that as you can see here, this one actually has a delay, right? Delay, wait one day. So you could change that trigger to two days, three days, or any other co more complex thing, but this is done for you and you can see that here. And then once you're done customizing these emails, you just hit done and exit. Now, the next step in the process is the sequences. We've done that. The next is the pages. Now, I just wanna say something to you guys. It makes sense to me because I understand with Kartra that you build the plumbing first, but what I would always recommend is always go down to pages first. And I know we didn't go through that because I want to make sure that you guys are able to follow this tutorial. So when Kartra says step one, two, and three, I want you guys to be able to follow it that way. But a little tip, always go down to the uh, pages first and just preview the pages because it's going to help you understand in your head what the heck is going on so for example remember it had us configure the the tags the lists and the sequences and it was referencing this form and even the email was talking about the benefit but what what is this all about had you looked at the pages you would see oh okay this is what's happening oh, okay so this is the template and this is why it makes sense so this is the offer so that's why it's always helpful to first preview these pages then you know go back to it and follow the the steps but that's one thing so now here we are we're already there we're already in the pages menu and this is one of the most confusing pieces of Kartra so I want to take some time to explain it so as you can see here it's actually created four pages for us and it doesn't really instruct us which pages go with what or what we're supposed to do here. So this is where you just have to have a fundamental understanding of digital marketing. So we're building this sequence and there's a landing page. And usually with a landing page, there's a thank you page. So what Kartra is doing here, the titles of the pages tell you sort of what they are, but these are actually options. So there's one thank you page and they've given you three options for the lander or the squeeze page so option one is you can do how to benefit without frustration this one here and i'm just doing the quick preview or you can do a two-step where they kind of land on this you pitch them a little bit then they click yes i want this which take then takes them to this right if you want like an additional step or if you want this one, you know, you kind of pitch them the copy and then you take them to this one. So you can do a two step. So then in actuality, it's step one, step two, step three, or you can just do step one, step two. So keeping things simple, let's just go with this one. You would just go right here and you can just edit it, drag and drop, click, you know, you just click on it. You can hear, you can change any of the copy, just like any other WYSIWYG editor you've used. Uh, the form itself, it's actually configured for you because that's the one Kartra magically built for you. So that's all ready to go. It's all incorporated, everything. Once you change your image, if you'd like, of course, you're not gonna have this pig. You're gonna change the copy to be, what is your lead magnet that you're giving away? Then you just go here and you go publish live. And if you click on get page link, you can actually change this to not make it this weird string here. And you can actually put like an actual title that you want, like lead offer or whatever the thing you're offering for free is. So now that we've done that, what we then want to do is also edit that thank you page. So you go here, you hit edit, and then you can edit that thank you page just like we did with the other one. You go in here, you change it, you add in any links if you want, whatnot. You can customize your colors if you like, just like any other page. I won't go through you know, how to do all of this because it's pretty similar to anything else you've ever used. It's just drag and drop and you click and when you're done, you just hit save and then you can hit publish. So really simple. I think, you know, I don't think that's really the thing a lot of people struggle with, with uh, Kartra. It's more so figuring out how the things all work together. So likewise, you can go here again and edit it. Now we can go back to our stuff. And now we've finished this step. And then 
we say mark as complete and now we have to configure our forms you know what let me actually show you guys something for sanity so then if you're not actually using these two versions then make sure you delete them because it just helps you avoid confusion right so go in here and delete the options that you're not going to use another good thing you might want to do is you can actually group them into either a category you know like like they've done already it's called the simple list builder or if you want even you can even make a, a site you can call it simple list builder and then within here you can group it if you want to do that so and you can do some other things like share elements but that's outside of this tutorial but just want to mention those organization things if you know for people who really want to stay organized once you start building a lot of pages it can be helpful okay we've done all of that and finally we are now building the form again watch the video guys i really recommend because it just helps you understand things and this is where we're going to connect the chosen landing page and the thank you page so First name, email, feel free to change it if you want different fields. We're just going to keep it as is. The confirmation, um, this is where you change it. Now, there's only one thank you page, so there's nothing to change. But if they gave you like two options for the thank you page or multiple options anywhere, then that's where you would change it. I just want to show you guys that. Um, nothing to do here in this case. Nothing to do here, right? Assign tags. Yep, it's going to assign this tag and it's going to assign this list because it's automated, right? So it's saying what this is saying is when someone fills in this form, assign this, them to this tag, assign them this list. Form design. There's two options here. You can embed it somewhere else or you can use it within a Kartra page. And that's what we're doing, obviously. And then we just go to finish and then we are done. Mark is complete. Okay, now to test it. We can go here and we can go to get link or code. And then we go get the page link and let's just put this into an incognito windows. And then, you know, we have this right here. And let's just say my name is Billy. And it's Billy at, I don't know, billytech.com. Then yes, tell me how. And then here is where Billy would be getting his free thing that you're offering him. And in addition to that, Billy would now be getting your emails. He's, he will be enrolled in this and we can verify that. This is where it gets cool, right? So we can go to my communications. So here we can see Billy has a tag associated with him, right? This one, you can see which sequences he's in. He's in that tag, that sequence, he's in the list builder. And then you can go and you can start seeing uh, what he's done you can click into him so just you know really cool analytics that way and that's about it guys I know we went over a lot and that's the simplest campaign I know it seems a little daunting at first but when you really think about how much longer it would have been for you to develop all of these yourself and sync these all together and make sure they all work it would have taken you a day maybe configuring this will take you two hours but it would have taken you a day or more had you done it manually so it's a lot of time savings. And remember, guys, these are build once, you know, then the automation stands. Of course, you should go in there and refine, maybe add an email or two to that sequence. But it's a machine you're building, right? So the more of these campaigns you build, you put the work up front and then it's very minimal work afterwards. So that's it, guys. Really quick tutorial for you on how you can get started with these Kartra built-in campaigns and sales funnels, which are immensely powerful once you learn how to leverage them. If you haven't tried Kartra already, click the link in the description to get a 14-day trial for just $1. You can really just try it out play around with some of these built-in campaigns, see if they have the campaigns you want and if it makes sense for you. So really encourage you guys to do that if you're not a Kartra subscriber already. If you found the video helpful, drop me a like. It really helps a small channel out like mine. Uh, I wanna keep making videos for you guys and it really encourages me when, when you guys do that. And um, you know, drop any comments. I know I went over a lot. So if you have any questions, just drop a comment. I'll do my best to respond to everyone. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing to the channel if you want more marketing automation and entrepreneurship content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.